What's up? Welcome to the Nergasm channel. I'm Willie, aka Unofficial Ninja. Zach Romeo 313. Jules. Fade Alexander. And today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Next system, or NX, uh, new Amiibos that have been launched, uh, some of the movies that are going to be coming out, and VR headset pricing, and some of the features of it. And just anything else that our Twitch viewers have for us, or things that just pop in our head. So let's go ahead and get started. Julius, right. uh, we usually do Nintendo news first, so that's right because Nintendo's the best. So we I'll let you do this. the amiibos, and then I'll go into the uh, the next system. We all know that Nintendo is by far one of the best pro pro developers of fun things, right? So, and they continue with their amiibos. So, <clears throat> what was it? Yesterday was the twenty second. So the twenty second, they released um, four new amiibos. Actual amiibo figures. Four. I have one of them here. Lucas uh, from the Super Smash Brothers series. Um, originally from Mother Three, I guess if you want to call it that. Mother Two. Was it Mother Two or was it Mother Three? Lucas. Lucas. Um, I don't know. I never played. He's from Earthbound, um, but I think it was Mother Three in the states. I could be wrong on that. Oh, uh, what um, was okay? So Earthbound was Mother Two. But he wasn't in Earthbound. He was in the sequel. Lucas. Mother 3? Yeah. That we never got stateside? Yeah. Why did we get this amiibo? Because he's popular. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know anything about Mother. Um, but yeah, so he was one of them for the Super Smash Brothers series. And then they had, if you're familiar with Animal Crossing, and if you are familiar with Animal Crossing, then of course you know who Rossetti is. So Rossetti, Balthers, the owl that works for your... Um, takes in your fossils and your, your animals and so forth. His sister, uh, Celeste who does the uh, little totems and so forth. She also works in the museum. And then you also got a new character that was released later in the Animal Crossing series called Kix, who actually sells the shoes. So when you can actually customize your clothes. So you got those four from um, the Animal Crossing series for the Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival game. And then also they released Wave 2 <laughs> of their Amiibo Animal Crossing cards. So those were the three or the really the three animal crossing amiibos the one smash brothers and then the cards so you're Series current two. who me yeah um on the figures yes not on the cards the cards are the cards are hard i'm missing like gotcha i'm missing like 15 cards in series one and i haven't even bought any of series two i don't know if i'm gonna buy any of series two but but yeah so uh shovel knight came out two weeks ago so if you played the shovel knight game traditional platformer 2d classic like mega man um, everything Mega Man actually should have been. This is what um, <laughs> um, Shovel Knight is. Great game. Amazing game. $14.99 on sale. Also has a Amiibo now. Um, Yacht Yacht Games, I think, is the... Yacht Club Games, I think, is who made that. But that's really good fancy. One. It's good. It's fun. It really is a fun game. Like, I played Yacht it, and games. I couldn't stop putting it down. But So that's Amiibo news, I guess. All right, so now to talk about the Nintendo NX or Next uh, console slash handheld slash we don't know. Uh, basically, there's just a bunch of speculation and rumors for almost everything that we know about the console. Um, one thing is it's supposed to, or one thing they think it's going to do is have the ability to link together. So you can buy multiple Next consoles and link them together so they can actually share um, power between each other so you can basically make a more powerful console by linking more and more of them together um, also supposed to have the ability to possibly um, tap into other consoles that are on the on networks so other users who have their uh, their console idling and is connected to the network other people who are playing can be able to tap into that power from that console too to uh, help boost it uh, here, like a couple of days ago, um, they were saying that possible 4K uh, 60p streaming from the, the device, like, a, I guess, video services, but then only 900p uh, of actual games. So, like, if you're playing a game, you're only going to get 900p versus, like, the 4K that's possible when you're just streaming. Um, the controller, I've seen a couple of different versions. One of them is basically like um, a touchscreen, complete touchscreen controller, and you can just map the actual buttons to how you like. That would which, be a big, big, big no-no. It could be, if it's done right, it could be good. Like, so if you have certain 
like if you have bigger hands and you like it to feel differently you can do it mm-hmm. um it would be weird to get used to but if it, like i said if it's done properly can you imagine playing a first person shooter wouldn't, like that i wouldn't want to do it. it you need that you need the you need the rise and then the, the, you need the touch to, to feel like what button you're pressing. it's like playing a game on a phone it's like an I emulator can't do it. not like an really emulator. well like mm-hmm. i tried to play Mega Man on this thing and i was like uh no. i would i personally and you know i'm a big nintendo advocate always i personally would like to have Touch sensitive buttons that I can that I can actually feel. And that's that's just, yeah, that's I mean, that was like another one too, just like a regular mm-hmm. one. I think maybe kind of like how the PlayStation 4's controller is, where mm-hmm. it has a touchpad in the middle, but mm-hmm. uh, maybe it actually be like a full LED touchpad there. Mm-hmm. Um, the controller itself is possibly an actual handheld device uh, too that can connect to the system. I've heard that. Right. Um, so you would basically have the de- the actual full size uh, console and you have your handheld part too um, I was watching the uh, the no on YouTube like their video and they were saying it would be stupid for them to actually come out with a new handheld because they pretty much be cam- cannibalizing their mm-hmm. current handheld that's one of the best sellers mm-hmm. out there and it's still selling well I agree um, so well no one's gonna beat Nintendo in the handheld market I'm sorry um, Xbox could come up with something right now and it just wouldn't be. It would fall in that category: the PS uh, Vita, the PlayStation Vita, where, which is unfortunate because the Vita is a great yeah. console. It's it really a great a system. Great it just wasn't supported. It was probably too expensive at well, launch. It was no, too expensive, it was, and that oh. proprietary memory piece. Yeah, Nintendo's always done that. I'm, I'm sorry. Oops, excuse me. Sony. Um, Sony has always done that. That proprietary making things specifically that only work with Sony. They've done it on all their handhelds, and it has never really been official for them. They do it pretty much on all their devices. That's period. true. That's true. Like uh, it's just they they basically fuck themselves over in a lot of the stuff that they do. Um, yeah. Which like with the so that's one like reason why I don't like to buy games. Yeah, like the Vita, Vita, it's like you kind of had to depend a lot on digital games, mm-hmm. but yet you were stuck. Um, like even if you bought the bundle in the beginning, I think the highest get, uh, card that it came bundled with was like eight, eight gigs, I think. Yeah. Eight. And then if you wanted to buy a higher one, like the, sixty to seventy dollars, they're, they're still yeah. expensive. Like yeah. I, I, you can't even find them on Amazon I'm like, cheaply. <laughs> they're, they're close to discontinuing the Vita, and the mm-hmm. memory is still. Half the price of a new Vita. And don't get me wrong. And it's still it's only going to get up if they discontinue. It's only going to go up even more, you know, because then it'll be rare. So, <laughs> I was I was still hoping that someone would make like a, a an adapter, party? a third party adapter that you can just slide in. A um, SD card. Yeah, and it, like they fit. did with the PSP. Yeah, yeah, with the the what Pro Stick and Duo. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Nintendo isn't bad, isn't known for doing stuff like that. The proprietary no. really. No. So, um, and they're good at actually letting doing a lot of backwards compatibility type stuff mm-hmm. so uh so well, except for their controllers well i guess it well, is no. technically backward what they do with their controllers is requires you to have the previous controller to mm-hmm. play a lot of the games instead of just letting the newer system be able to play the like but well, here, you have to understand that, now why, i though. understand and i've actually i was listening to go ahead sorry i was gonna say you have to understand why though if you look at nintendo's you know controllers over the years they're bizarre you know, I mean, they have. Well, technically, obviously, they've all been the same, but. Well, know. I'm talking about button button layout and number of buttons. If you look at the Wii, right there, like I mean, I guess. The they've Wii all been U. pretty much the same. If you look, go back all the way to the Virtual Boy controller. The Virtual Boy controller was essentially the GameCube controller without analog sticks <laughs> or without a C stick. And then the the and then when they moved forward until they got the the. Um, and then the Wiimote was essentially the old NES controller with motion control. So they don't really reinvent. <laughs> they don't, but they just add new technologies, and that's why you have to use the old controllers because those new Pro Pads don't have the motion controls, and a lot of those old games have the motion controls. But like, if I'm playing, if I download digitally on the market store Super Mario Bros, my Pro controller should be able to play Super Mario Bros. It's fucking D pad and A and B. Like I shouldn't have to like go and like buy. Okay, get your <laughs> get your Wii remote, connect that to your gamepad, then go get your your regular classic controller, plug that in, do a rain dance, yeah. blow a dude in the alley, and then now no. you can play play the game. Yeah, they do kind of go <laughs> a little differently, but you are right. They have done different things with their button layouts over the years, Zach. But well, I think the deal is it's depending on how you buy it. Um, you know. Specifically, they'd have to go in, obviously, and change the button 
arrangement, you know, and I'm sure that they don't want to do that necessarily, take the time. So. <laughs> yep. Uh, Jess Anachronism actually got that right that time. Uh, says uh, they do it because they want to make them money dollars, which is true. And uh, like they even got me. Like I'm not even a huge Nintendo person, but I got. I bought a game, didn't realize that it had to have the special controllers, and so I even had to go out and buy them, so they got me. They got me. Um, mm. Also, with this, um, it should be releasing, the console's going to be probably releasing this year, uh, towards the end of the year. Maybe they'll actually put something out um, around E3 uh, this year. And then, um, I saw also, there's concerns about, like, games that were meant to come out on the Wii U, like Zelda, the new Zelda title. Mm -hmm. Like, will they still make it for the Wii U, or will they go ahead and skip it and start developing it for the next console? I think the scary thing on that is, like, the the Zelda console, or the the Zelda, Zelda game will sell a few consoles. It may not sell as much as they want, they're so far behind. Um, it, I think it'll really come down to how far along they are. I mean, we haven't even seen any real gameplay footage yet, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a it, the Zelda series was always their kind of you know, I don't know, ace that they could pull out when things were either getting bad or when they were good when it, when the game was done. So it's really going to come down to how much they've got developed by the time the NX is actually officially revealed. You know, I. I kind of think they'll probably do something like what they did with Twilight Princess. There you go. And the Wii. You know, they were like, we're releasing this new system. Currently, we have a lot of we have a lot of saturation with our GameCube market. We're going to go ahead and release a version on GameCube. We're going to release a version on the Wii U. Oh, so I think if they do, do they're not going to... I'm, I'm sorry, the Wii. They're not going to just completely lose their Zelda fan base on these people that have bought these Wii U's. If it does come out on the NX... I think it will come out on the uh, Wii U as well. I mean, Personally, I think it's going to launch on the Wii U and, and maybe later when they get it on the NX, but I think it'll be on the Wii U. I mean, U. you really kind of have to follow the Sony model on that, and, and Nintendo's starting to do that. Whether or not you like it or not, you're getting a bunch of remakes, HD remakes, polished up. Um, yeah. They're good. It's good for someone like me who hasn't played a lot of the originals. Yeah, like I'm getting to play them now. Like you're playing Uncharted. And so yeah, forth. Uncharted. I think I think um, you get down to gamer fatigue. Like you get, I get tired of it. You get these gamers who are like, um, man, you know, I I want some new shit, not the same stuff that you you know. Because I played them, so I've already yeah. played them again. I'm like, ugh. Yes, it's prettier, but but with the development cycle of a lot of games, though, at least it gives you something to play while. Other games are getting. If you uh, didn't play it, but yeah. like my attention span isn't quite like a really a real gamer's. You know, my attention span. I will pick up a game and play it. It's very very rare that I beat a game. It's very rare that I play a game longer than eight hours. You know, unless it's got an online content, and to t- particularly if the online content allows me to kill my friends. You know, that's really the only time I'm going to play it. Um, Technically, you're only allowed to kill friends online. You can't do it in real life because then you get arrested and it's a big deal. And then you don't have your friends anymore. I know. I mean, I think also when it comes down to it, it's a win-win for Nintendo because most of the time when gamers bitch about something, um, whether or not it's a cash grab or something like that, you know, still buying it, you know, very, very often... Or not, not, it's not very often that like a DLC is, you know, they kill the game. You know what I mean? Like you may not buy it, but then there are people that'll bitch about it, but they'll still buy it because yeah, they love true. the game. So it's it's a it's a necessary evil at this point. You know what gamers need to understand is we created it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like well, you're kind of forced to. You know, you're sure. Forced to. Well, this also gave developers an out. Because, you know, back in the day... developers not to make a full fucking that's game. What, that's what I'm saying. I'll give you a perfect example of that. Still remember Halo game. 2? Mm-hmm. Okay, remember how everybody bitched about the ending? And with it, with very good reason. It just ended, like, abruptly. It was like, so, what are we going to do next? We're going to finish this fight. Bam! The game's <laughs> fucking over. And you're like, what? Wait a second. That wasn't... No, dude, I swear I've only been playing for, like, an hour and 40 minutes. Now, they, they came out and said that... Um, we were just under such a horrible, 
you know, crunch time to get this thing out by by the date that you know was supposed to come out. Mm-hmm. That we had to just cut shit left and right to the point where you did have a game that wasn't mm-hmm. quite finished. And it's allowing developers to kind of be lazy in that aspect. They can go, hey, we're just gonna here's the story that we got. We're gonna try to get as much as it's done. Anything we need to cut out, we'll just make up in the back end as DLC. Now that's kind of bullshit, but we still buy it. Or at least yeah. some of us do. Yeah. yeah. Like we're perpetuating the problem, basically. You know, if you just stop buying DLC, everybody well, just stop, stop buying, buying already, DLC. I, I understand. I'm just, but I'm saying, like in everyone. general, like yeah. if you just if everybody said fuck this, I'm paying for the sixty dollars game. I, they're obviously making money at it. You know, I can't. Like my biggest thing, like there are certain games that have given you great DLC. Which are which are three being one of those games that. Every time the DLC came out, it was reasonably priced, and it was another chapter to the game. Okay, I'll pay for that. If you're giving me more to do with a current game, I'll pay for that. But if you're just giving me some skins and map packs... I agree. I'm sorry. But then again, let's think about that. When was the last... When was the last really great DLC that dropped? Besides yeah. The Witcher, it doesn't happen that often. Ninety percent of been, DLC think, is uh, just kind of. And I hate to, I hate, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, and you know where I'm going with Nintendo. this. Nintendo. Nintendo. When they give you DLC, which is so very rare that they give you DLC, unless it's Smash Brothers, um, it is a lot of content. Some of it's free too. And, and, and like yeah. the best example, and I'm not going to say Mario Kart. And Splatoon. I'm not gonna say, but Splatoon. Every piece of DLC they've given you, over 200 different items, over 150 different uh, out- outfits and costumes and so forth, weapon upgrades, 14, 15 different stages has all been free to perpetuate the, the, the playing of the game. And I, I think... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that um, that I really I hate to say it but they really they, they do understand well they used to I don't know I'm going to save my opinion on this next and or the NX but they really do understand their consumer and how to make their or they used to understand how to make their consumer happy I don't know how I feel about this new the new loyalty program they have uh, uh, yeah but I mean you, that's that's uh, Nintendo though for you listening to the audio only version of this uh, just said that we need to get sponsored by Nintendo that's why I was laughing because we really should we talk about Nintendo all the time even when we don't want to I always want to talk about Nintendo well I mean let's let's think about this for a second though what I mean really right now we are in the the uh, post holiday slump when it comes to games like nothing really sexy is coming out anytime soon you know you're getting a bunch of remakes you're getting stuff that i mean it might be good but about to be a bunch your of big titles if i'm not a, i'm not a fighting game i man. love fighting naruto games naruto ultimate ninja are. storm 4 the last in the naruto ultimate series no, it's gonna be great it's gonna finish out the uh ninja war which i won't be able to but we are in that now. slump right now so enjoy those games that we got for Christmas, uh, if you did get any, because um, it's Remake City right now. Pretty much. But there's there's a couple that look promising. Independent ones? Yeah, most of them are independent. Yeah. I did, however, go back and I just downloaded, because uh, I never actually played it before, and I thought I had it on Game Boy Advance, but I guess I didn't, or maybe I do and just can't find it. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake of Metroid 1. It's actually really fun. It was on the Wii U. Um, on their virtual console, super cheap. Um, so I bought it, and that's actually pretty fun. I never played the first Metroid, actually. Yeah, I've been buying a bunch of stuff on the PlayStation Network. You see, I couldn't find the, the the discounted games on the PlayStation Network, so I just got angry and turned it off. <laughs> but I oh, on the PS3? On the PS4? Oh, they were on the PS3? Yeah. Uh, well, that would be like, I couldn't find At the very least, you could have looked them up by title. Yeah. Like, what you... Um, this is a pro tip for people. Um, with the Sony PlayStation Store, it's uh, separated out from... Like, the PS4 won't pull up the PS3 and Vita oh, games a lot of times. I see it. And vice versa. So the best way to actually find the games is to do it online um, at the Sony Entertainment Network Store. Because okay. it, it has all the different yeah, versions for plus, all of them. That's plus, the you can download... You can set it to start downloading. Yeah. Like, I got... Uh, the reason why I bought like Symphony of the Night and, and Xeno Gears and I already had Final Fantasy seven and eight is I put it on my uh, Vita, mm-hmm. so I I could. So you play. can play the Symphony of the Night. You could have played the Symphony of the Night on your Vita. I can. I put it on there. Well, I'm. No, he's I, saying if he would have gotten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Got it for three dollars. And so that I already have it though. I already have it on my PS3 from a long time ago. Then you can transfer it. To yeah, you can see if it. Because most of the games that you guys were saying, I bought a long time ago when yeah, they were they're free. cross. They're cross platform. Um, um, Xeno Gears is the one that excited me. I haven't played that in years, and I'll be able to play that on my Vita. I don't think I have that one. I have it. It was on, three dollars. I, I have it on three physical. dollars. I've it's never physical. played any of those, and so that's why I went ahead and picked them up. It was all right. What's doing the West, bro? That, uh, it's like so for me, kind of like we were saying with the HD, uh, saying with the HD remakes. Someone like me who didn't ever get to play a lot of these. Um, I get to go back and play them now, and so yeah, well, no, three bucks awesome. for these games that are considered classics and um, really good games. Um, I picked them up. Also got Katamari Damacy, the first one, uh, for a dollar, and so that was. But that's cool. why I couldn't find okay. them. Is that sell over with? Yeah. I don't know. Is it that one? But they started a new one, so they I mean, just put a bunch of other ones on. Stay sale tuned. Now. They'll do it again. Most of them are guaranteed. Indeed. Yeah, there's been a lot of they've been like I got an email last night or something for about another flash sell that they do they're doing right now. So uh, yeah, if you have the the app on your phone too, uh, the PlayStation app, if you open it up and hit the PlayStation Store, it takes you right into like all the games and stuff. So that's another way oh, to look at it. Neat. All right, y'all want to go into VR? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you are you not excited at all about the VR stuff? I've, so you know, I saw Morpheus when it was Morpheus. Now it's Sony VR. So in the Las in Las Vegas, at which the is gaming smart, Expo. honestly. I yeah, like Morpheus was a silly name. Well, it's not even the name, but I mean, it's just more like, well, it's going to be a Sony product. Why yeah. would you just call it something simple? Yeah, and Morpheus, need a you know, code name. what was it? What is the God of Dreams or whatever? So I get the concept behind the name, but whatever. I'll take the red pill. Yeah, right. Um, but is that Viagra? Matrix. Tell you later. <laughs> the red <laughs> pill. Oh, the red Ooh. pill. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I saw it, and uh, I didn't actually get a chance to actually physically play it because I missed my email. Because, of course, everybody knows I love to check my email. Uh, but Sony sent me an uh, email saying, hey, grab your spot at the GameStop Expo in Vegas, and you can come in and try out Morpheus. Project Morpheus is what it was then. Um, but, you know, I didn't get to play it but because I wasn't going to wait in line for an hour and a half to get the standby line and miss all the free stuff that they were giving away. Which is actually... Oh, that's why. Because I was going to say, that's kind of surprising because an hour and a half sucks, but at the same time, like, True. I'd still... Like, but I was like, no way. Everybody else is giving away free stuff, particularly At- Atlas, which is... Nine- Tali was there, right? Uh, no, she was at she was at one of the shows. She was uh, at Britney, I think. Uh, Britney, Britney bitch. Yep. But... All the free stuff outweighed we me wanting to out may, outweighed me wanting to wait in line to see more gotcha. shit. So, but I did happen to talk to almost pretty much five or six people that got finished playing it, uh-huh. and no one to, so told. No one said it was amazing, and no one said it, it felt super realistic. They just said it was very interesting. No one said any bad press about it. They just said it was very interesting. They said it was and then fun, they, and then they followed it up with, "I didn't really understand what I was supposed to do in that game." Well, I think that's that's because it was demo like stuff. True, but you know, if if you're grabbing a bottle of water off a table yeah. in the VR world, I would understand that that would be realistic, you know. Um, I but get everybody said that I was kind of like, huh, that makes me think. Well, it, if you didn't understand what you were supposed to do, how realistic could it have been? I, I think it's just there so. mainly to immerse you a little bit more. But yeah. here's my thing. VR is not for everybody. If you have motion sickness at at all, or 3D movies mess you up. You probably will yeah. not like VR. I mean, like, it's it's not as kitschy as 3D, like when you go see a 3D movie. But for me, I can take it and leave 3D movies in theater most of the time. Um, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't give me a headache. I don't feel nauseous or sick. But, I mean, I don't really need it. Now, if if based on the Samsung VR thing that we were playing with, you know... It's cool and it's kitschy, but you're gonna to have to make some really solid titles before you start, you know, making it an amazing thing. In my personal opinion, yeah, I don't know. like these. Like, if it's a little indie game where the game is pick up this water bottle. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I can see it in 3D space. Uh, most you of know? the companies have like, uh, at least most of them have said they had like about a hundred, a little over a hundred games currently in development for the VR. Uh, headsets and even like the ones that are currently exclusive to Oculus, um, turns out like they're not actually exclusive. They might launch on it first, but um, pretty much all the other headsets are going to get them get them too, which kind of makes sense, I guess. So because sure. there's such a small market for it that as a developer, 
um, if they kind of all run on the same tech in a way, it is smarter to put it on all the different ones so you have a, a different or uh, wider uh, fan base, basically. And you don't want to, you know, obviously, and and we'll get into the price here in a minute, but like that's got to be at the perfect price point. Yeah, because what is it? What are they saying? What's the other one? Mm-hmm. The, There's the Oculus, Morpheus the PlayStation like VR, and right? then the uh, no. HTC Hot or Vive are the main ones, and, and so. Uh, there was a with the PlayStation VR. Initially, there was an accidental uh, Canadian Potential. Amazon. Can, yeah, Amazon can, uh, Canada had marked it the pre-order page as eight hundred dollars, um, and then like removed it. But Sony came out and said that was an error, mm-hmm. and so since then they do have the price uh, removed off of there completely. Uh, but most things are kind of pointing to um, it being probably priced anywhere from. Four hundred dollars up to like six hundred. Yeah, so you know. And Zach saw some places where it was like three fifty. Yeah, no. Um, and so it's uh, three fifty would be expensive, but I, I may be close to it. But if you're getting to the six hundred dollar range, I'll shit. I'll wait on that one because this yeah. could be this could be the next power glove or virtual, or virtual boy. boy. True. I will yeah. be right back, guys. You continue talking. Yeah, um, with the no PlayStation, no the PlayStation that. VR, uh, it's built. It's working with console, and so more people, like the PlayStation uh, console, the PS4 is actually more affordable um, than like what you would need for like the, the to play the Oculus. So you're looking at a like 300 or $400 console, plus uh, possibly $500 uh, VR headset, so around 9000 to to $1,000 to get into the VR with the PlayStation. Yeah, I'm not doing Whereas that. with the Oculus Rift, um, it is priced at uh, $600 for yep. it, no but then you also have to have a powerful computer to play it. So, like, your minimal uh, recommendations for it is a Intel i5 processor or higher. Um, you have to have, like, an AMD R9 290 graphics card or better, or the NVIDIA, NVIDIA GTA, uh, GTX 970. Um, 8 gigs or higher of RAM. Um, looks like HDMI outputs, uh, the three times. So you need a pretty heavy. 3X USB, uh, USB on there, yeah. Um, nope. So a rig like that so can be it, anywhere for like 1500 to 250 yeah. if not, or 2500 if not. Nope. So let's just say the low end, like you're looking at like $1,500 plus the $600 for the actual headset itself. So about $2,100 um, that you're looking for there. Um, let's see here. Mm. Uh, and just said... Uh, we just set up the new Oculus. It's pretty cool. However, it only works on certain graphic cards, which really screws a lot of people over. And so, like I said, those are the two currently that I know that it works with. Uh, might be a few others as well. Um, so, mm-hmm. look, you're looking at about twenty one hundred for the to get in on the Oculus, and then the HTC Vive. Really, not much has come out on prices. Um, I think it was rumored between a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars for it. Um, for the HTC Vive, but I don't think yeah. s- since Valve is involved in it, they usually are smart in their pricing and their business um, practices for the most part. So I don't think they would release it at that high of a price. Um, in the Oculus, things like that are currently PC only, whereas the PlayStation VR is console. So I'm personally waiting for the uh, PlayStation VR because I'm not a PC gamer because I don't have the hand eye coordination. And I don't have the money to spend to make me a beast console or a beast computer. That's why I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't bother. I don't play enough stuff. Like, I have two Steam games that I've bought over the years. Not that my computer can't handle it. It's just, uh, you know, in order to play the newest games, you're going to constantly have to, you know, pump a lot of money into your PC. Yeah. I mean, so if I were to get one, it would be Sony VR, but I don't even care to get that one, to be quite honest. Honestly, I wouldn't even say yay or nay until I see more on it, yeah. you know. And I definitely need to see the price because, wow. um, you know, three hundred dollars. Yeah, it's doable, but beyond that, I just for something that you may not even. I know I wouldn't use it. Use it that much, you I, know what unless I mean? they make a super awesome, amazing game. I'm not going to use it. Like, because I, I don't just, need I don't need that to play like, two K, which would, would, <laughs> would be, be kind of awesome no if you think it about it, well. it it wouldn't because you, you're never in a first person's perspective uh, perspective in that game it's just kind of how you set the court up but if it was designed for VR they would make it to where it worked properly it's, so it I mean it might be 
it, it'd be it good if you could still have like side um, peripheral vision because if it's just like um, if it's just, like an athletic game like that, think about it, dude. Your neck would be whipping around left and right trying to follow the ball, defense. Too I much wouldn't. Shit. Well, when you I play would, real I, basketball, you you like turn your head to look towards the ball too. That's what I'm like. Yeah, give yourself you clunky on your head. If you give yourself peripheral vision in it, then it wouldn't be too bad. I don't see it working, guys. I mean, what do you guys think? Sport games uh, on the VR. I mean, I I don't see it working. I think we're mainly going to see, if we see sports games, I think it's going to be sports like bowling, um, archery, stuff like that. You saw, yeah, like, I mean, uh, honestly, and uh, like Wii Sports. And stuff. I think they're going to be first person first. games. Yeah, they'd have to be first person game. Horror. Or, or myth. Or, like, yeah, or like Resident adventure. Evil or something like that. Or like Until myth. Would be things cool. like that. Things where you're interacting and you're moving things, looking around, trying to solve puzzles and so forth. That's what I think. I know that's the way the. The, the, the game they had at the demo was it was something similar to that. And we have friends that have the Oculus, and they've, they've told me personally, mm-hmm. like, it's cool, it's a little kitschy, you know, and they don't really have anything out for it. Like, that was a really cool scene from My so, Neighbor yeah. Totoro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw that. The buzz stop. It's neat, but you're done in three minutes. <laughs> I don't even know. I just, uh, um, I wouldn't be an early adopter on VR. I don't think I will be an adopter. I don't, I don't know. Like, I I'll wait for like the probably the next generation, depending on price. Um, but I would probably wait to the next generation of them iteration when they add all the extra bells and whistles and they work out all the kinks from this uh, model and then do like the price drop on everything. Like uh, I guess you probably won't know until it comes out though. Anyway, so. mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. So there was something else with it. Eh. All right, so what do you want to talk about next? Uh, movie trailers? And just movies that are coming out and stuff too? Yeah, I don't really know what the release schedule for anything. I mean, again, we're in that post-holiday lull between about May mm-hmm. is when all the big, big titles start coming out. Um, what's anything new coming out? Anybody wants to see? Uh, I want to see The Fifth Wave, but I'm a huge Chloe. Chloe, I can't say her name, but Chloe Grace... I don't remember her She's kick She's hit girl No, I know who she Moretz. is. Whatever, okay. Chloe Moretz. Okay, her. She's in a new one. Um, we came up oh, with the one that's like The Hunger Games? Or it's the, based on a book's like The Hunger Games? I mean, it's not the story or anything like that. Not at all, no. The fifth wave where aliens come in and they take over the world. and It's going to be like the new... It's, it's, it's post-apocalyptic. A, yeah, but it's yeah. a young adult well, novel. You think it's going to be like... Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a based, book. On, it's, it's based on... Huh? You, it's like, are you thinking it's going to be like a divergent type? No, movie? it's not. I Aliens. Know, I know what it is. Yeah. I'm talking about him. No, I'm just saying, okay, look. I when I say that, I don't mean the plots are similar at all. Oh. I'm saying they took a young... A tween uh, book. A tween book, yeah. Yeah, they and, didn't do that. And they're, they're, they're doing the Twilight thing on yeah, it, you know? They like make it into Hunger it. Games, Twilight, you know, stuff like that. This, yes. is, this is a very successful book that they made into Sorry, I misunderstood. A movie like that. No, 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 I mean, I, was, I probably should have been more clear. Yeah, I want to see that. That just came out this week. I want to see that. Um, Although Maze Runner sucked. Maze Runner, the first one wasn't bad. That second one, Scorch Trails, what? Never I don't, seen. I don't oh, know the what. The first one, I didn't think, was that great. Uh, the books were great. The books were really good. You know what's going to be a great a hit? Fifty Shades of Black. I think so, too. I love... Oh, I wait, love are, are they official? Are they, no, no, no. Wait, are they I officially it, back? I would, I would, yeah. Well, they're making this Fifty Shades... Well, I, and I don't know if I don't the know other if, brother, brother is in it, but which one's the younger? Damon. Sean? Damon? Or not Marlon. Damon. Uh, That's the father. Marcus. Marlon. Not Marcus. Marlon. Marlon, Marlon and Sean, but which one is the young one? The one that was the... No, wait. The youngest Wayne is Marlon. Marlon. And Sean was the DJ out on Living Color for a while. It, Which one is that one? Fifty. Uh, that is. Shit, they're so old. I think it's Sean. Well, Let's anyway, see. it looks it looks great. It looks great. Or is that Marlon? Marlon? That's Marlon. That's so he's yeah. the star of it. I don't know if Sean is in it. But it, here's but the deal. It with with any of the Wayne's brother projects, they them. have to have written it though. Yeah, typically. You know, because yeah. they've been in other things that are parody like. Uh, and I mean, scary movies sucked after they left. Yeah, I'll agree. I'll agree with like, that. Like, I was joking about saying it's going to be, like, it's not going to get any rewards or anything, but I kind of do want to still watch it. I like their movies. Like, their, their newer ones haven't been, all, like, the scary, was it Scary House or Haunted House? That was funny. Was mm-hmm. it? I liked it. I, but I liked Was them. there break, break, uh, break and dancing? And that's Marlon. 
That's no, Marlin. that was their other one. Um, it was what Marlin. Was that That's what one? I thought. There was another one that was based off like the dancing movies and stuff like that, parodying of it. Oh, that was but horrible. I can't remember which oh, that one was. It was like called. Step Up. I, I liked it. That was good, too. I liked that. I liked their movies, though, so I'm biased. I'm biased, so I like their movies. Nah, White sorry, Chicks is one of my favorite movies. No. Really? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I like Terry Crews. I like Terry Crews in that movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, all right, so, I love them. I love their movies, though. I've always liked their movies, even when they kind of went away from them. I still watched, even when Scary Movie got left, when they left Scary Movie and the other movies. I watched all of them. I enjoy the spoof movies, the ones like the, well, they hung, the been Hunger good. Games or the Killing Games, or would they have nothing to do with, or they're just spoof movies? Not so much. But the ones that they do, I really enjoy. They like kind of, yeah, like epic they're kind of like the ones who kicked that off. Yeah, Scary and, Movie was like, the first one, and they did really well. Technically, I'm gonna get you, Sucker was the first. I'm one. Oh, that was, that was awesome. That's a, that's a parody Jack, of but... the black exploitation movies. Uh, All of them, yeah. Which, but, uh, but that Wayne was that was Keenan Ivory Brothers. Yeah, it was, that, was, that was Damon. That was, that was, that was Damon Wayans who did. I thought it was Keenan. Keenan Ivory Wayans wrote and was starred in that. Damon Wayans was in yeah, there. That's right. He played the little thug wannabe. <laughs> the, the, he was like, man, fix that, fix that lady's couch. Yeah, that's right. You got two options. The stairs or the window? Damn, take yeah, the stairs. Right. It had that dude from um, Keenan Ivory. Yeah. No, well, what the hell is his name? David from uh, fucking uh, no, 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 from fucking uh, White Man Can't Jump. We go. We and, go. Uh, what is that guy's name? Isn't he also from Different World. Yeah, Different World with the glasses. Oh, Kadeem Harrison. Yeah, Kadeem Harrison. Uh, uh, that Dwayne dude Wayne. Because yeah, I liked him in uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Oh, Julius, yeah. he played Julius in Vampire in Brooklyn. All right, we're getting way off. There's a new vampire in town, and his name is Julius Jones. Back but those were those. TV that's where movies. those were. He still makes good movies. They're just not. That's good as when old. those movies I haven't were seen like good. Movies. Though are they though? Like I like his movies. Eddie Murphy's one of my favorite actors. He's not Eddie Murphy from the '80s, but he's still great. I thought he was in stuff like um, Bowfinger, and, and was that which good? Was funny to me, if you like Eddie Murphy. Oh, okay. Daddy Daycare, hilarious. They're just a different. It's because he went. He went. He went family friendly for yeah, a while. But I think he's coming yeah. back. We'll I mean, see. we're talking. I would like to see him this do stand up. Again, they say he did one. They say that he uh, he did a stand up about three months ago at a little club. No cameras were allowed. Our city hall was there. Um, nothing has been leaked, but they said it was actually he was actually pretty funny. Freeze you, disease rhinoceros pizzle. <laughs> oh, Chappelle too. He's coming back. Like, yeah, he's but I don't know. He, have you seen him though? Yeah, have I saw some of his leak. No, have you seen him? Oh yeah, he's fucking like he's ripped. Beast yeah, now. He went beast mode. Chappelle got yeah. Ripped? Yeah, he's yeah. fucking like. <laughs> like I was like like Dre, no, not like Dre. Oh, like he's like Dre went from pudgy to fucking Superman. That's crazy. Show me a picture. But oh, Deadpool, at. that's uh, the movie. I oh, haven't seen hell it now. Yes. now. Before we talk about Deadpool, I have to preface this with I have not seen a trailer for Deadpool at all. I did the exact same thing I did with Avengers. I did the exact same thing I did uh, with so Star Wars. You wouldn't even get the joke. I don't even think you really need to watch no, 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 the trailer no, no, no. for. I have, but again, read the comics. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's my favorite. He's because I was gonna say like, there's this part where he, yeah. in the trailer, I'm gonna. It's not gonna give away plot detail or anything like that. Where he goes, "Ooh, I'm so gonna touch myself tonight," and I swear to God, I felt the same way after watching that trailer because that <laughs> fucking trailer was heat, man. So I um, compared to what he used to look like, you know. Um, yeah, comparatively, yeah, yeah. Good for him. I um. I um, Doing am a huge Deadpool fan. Huge Deadpool fan. And, you know, I've... I've I think really, they're going to do it right, man. I've really started boycotting trailers because trailers nowadays Show you are everything. telling you everything about the movie and you have no surprises, which partly is why I think a lot of people were so disappointed with some of the movies, the big blockbusters that have been coming out because all the good things are in the trailer. So I have been very pleasantly surprised with every movie I've seen this summer or this winter. But that's also because speaking um, to the fact that a lot of these movies don't have enough good shit in them to go around. Or you see pacing is my number one beef with a lot of these movies these days. You just, but, I think the with the but with the Daredevil like trailers and movie Deadpool. Or stuff. Dead, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was looking at reading something too. Um, with the Deadpool trailers and everything, it's making fun of itself overall. So I don't think it's really reviewing re uh, uh, sh- revealing too much well, about the actual I, movie, except for poking fun like what Johnny shared uh, that little. It'll meme. be. It'll be. I can a, tell you an origin story. The trailer that we saw. Well, I didn't see it. I looked like a, 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 a strange person because I plugged my ears and covered my head and rocked back and forth until it ended. But um, when we went to see Thirteen Hours. 
which was actually mm-hmm. a really good movie um, if you like that kind of stuff. Um, the trailer that show premiered during that, uh, Talia said, "Why didn't well, I just saw the whole movie? It was actually footage from the movie instead of him joking like he has been, I, I supposedly, in all the trailers." She's it like, "I just a, saw the whole it movie." It was a trailer, so um, so I, I I'm, mean, I'm not a fan, but you know, that's just me. Like like this. I mean, he's the merc. Are, he's the merc with the mouth, you know. Julie, trailers did you, in general. Did you see this poster? Yeah, I saw that poster. Yeah. Like just the the inside jokes and stuff that it, of it making self uh, fun of itself. But that's, got me that's pumped because that's Deadpool. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So are you guys gonna? Are you excited about? Um, in fact, we're gonna go see it together. Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Who? Deadpool. You're gonna go see it with Joe. I'm seeing it with you guys. Am I seeing it with Joe? I didn't even know that. Okay. Yeah. Hope Joe's not listening. I guess we're going, Joe. <laughs> I think he got it. He's getting his tickets. Oh, I hadn't talked. Hadn't spoken to him. Okay, good to know. I, don't know, I talked to him yesterday. Kung Fu Panda Three. Nope. Nah. I didn't even watch the second one. The first are you one serious? Was, the first one was alright. They're great. Kung Fu Pandas are fun. I'm excited about Kung Fu Panda 3. That's the only way we can get some Asians on screen. Oh, wait. There's... <laughs> That's, That's a joke. That was a joke. Alright, so... Um, I'll go ahead and we'll talk about... Uh, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Kian Peel just released the trailer for Keanu. Dude, I oh man, I saw that trailer. I I can't wait to see that movie. And it's not because I'm a huge Key and Peele fan, because I'm moderate. I mean, I think that they're good at coming up with some funny skits. They just don't know how to end them all. Correct. Um, so a lot of them go a little too long. Like they never knew when to stop. Uh, but this trailer for Keanu is, looks pretty damn funny. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out the trailer. There's a Red Band trailer out there. It's basically the plot is guy gets, you know, uh, his girlfriend breaks up with him, finds a little adorable cat and adopts him and um, then uh, looks like gets stolen and they have to go try to get Keanu back. <laughs> it just, it's funny, you know. So... Alright, so Suicide Squad. Oh hell yes. But that's because and I know I know that Julius is gonna have some not as a rebuttal, but he, he's not really the hugest DC fan, is I inadvertently watched this uh, this Batman movie called animated movie called Batman Assault on Arkham, which basically was a Suicide Squad story. And probably not the same as this this movie, the plot, but it was so good that I was like, holy shit. Like, they need to make this into a movie. Told everybody about it. I'm like, look, I know it's been a while since you've seen a Batman cartoon, but you need to check this one out. Completely mature, not for kids, uh, and it was fantastic. Hmm. Most of their animated movies are lately on Fantastic. They've been doing really good on their animated films, DC, for a while. I personally don't like DC. Everybody knows this. Um, I'm a Superman fan. But um, their animated films for the last five or so years, they've been releasing them consistently, um, particularly around the holiday season. Surprisingly enough. Well, this isn't your like Batman the animated series. No, no, no. I mean. These are like these are these are real full on. There's going to be death, sex, blood, all that sh- death. And uh, well, DC's moving away from DC's actually going back to its roots because you know that's one of the big things about DC when it when it started. It was a it was the adult detective comic. detective the adult. Comics, yeah the more adult comic strip. You know, it wasn't your Sunday morning comics. It wasn't your Marvel it was, comics. They were that was, pulp. That was pulp comics. made for adults with visual appetites. And, and it wasn't until the comic book code came around where they kind of... Yeah. It, 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 and they've always I wouldn't say good. wussified them, but they, yeah, I they forgot had to. There DC's always a good. comic book code. Yeah. That's weird. What? Oh, yeah. The comic book authority. Um, <sighs> yeah, so DC's always been really geared more towards adults, and particularly when they had to break away from that, and then they made their Vertigo, which was even more so adults, where you're going to get your like your Lucifer and so forth, which is a new show. So I've Vertigo seen, really. is uh, DC? DC? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Max Comics was Marvel's adult version, and then Vertigo was uh See, It's so DC's. weird that you're not like a, a DC fan, but they have some of the most, I would say, gritty... Hard hitting and some of the, some of the best stories out there. True, now, you might like. Uh, I'll agree I, with that. I can say Marvel has the line. You know what I mean? Like they have the iconic, iconic, you know, um, characters. Characters, because if you Superman look at DC, are pretty if, no. Huge. But if you, I was going to say, if you look at DC, the most 
the two real notable ones are going to be yeah, Superman and Batman. Batman. Mm-hmm. But they go long stretches where there's just not really much to yeah, write about that's them. That's true. Um, and it wasn't until you know Frank Miller came along and really did Batman justice by with the Dark Knight that he, I mean got it right, like mm. gritty and shit like that. So, but with the sewer, uh, suicide, Suicide Squad, like I don't know anything about um, about any of the characters except for. Maybe like the Joker, Har- uh, Harley Quinn. Those like this is a the, different Joker than probably what you're used to. Uh, I heard Suicide that Squad. Devin Devin was telling me, um, like he said something like he thinks it's Bruce Wayne's son or something. The Joker? Yeah, I didn't understand what he like. No. He said like he was captured and tortured, you know, and stuff. And I was like, you know, yeah. sorry, Dev, I don't think so. Yeah. Man. He's know. like saying this is just the Joker. He was. Yeah, no. Was one more question too, real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, the Red Hood. Yeah, that's Batman's. Is that Batman's son? No. Batman doesn't have a son. Yo. He has don't say one. that again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I'm like talking I found about out recently. In the, in the, in the, in the Suicide Squad? In the game. Oh, the game is different. Yes, We're, Batman does have a son. you're talking about the Red Hood in... Yes, Batman in, does uh, have a son. Com- like, not... I'm just saying Red Hood character in general. Like, you were saying, like, what do you mean by... Uh, I thought we were talking about l- Arkham Knight. That's a longer like, just, story. Oh, that's general. a longer. That's a longer conversation to explain okay. that. Um, but yes, Batman does have a son. He's dead now, but he does have a son. All right, we'll let's talk about that. The son with um, um, Tatiana Agul, Ooh. Ra's Al Ghul's daughter. Uh, or t- excuse me, I said Tatiana. Talia. Excuse me, Talia Al Ghul. I was about to say it, but Talia I was like, Al Ghul. Um, I'll just see how I was long thinking, it take. Because, I mean, you know, your beloved. Yeah, Talia Al Ghul. All right, you'll have to explain a little bit more of that to me then after we're mm-hmm. down here. But, like, um, it seems like this is going to be the order sto- origin story of a lot of the characters, too, um, being introduced into the the DC universe so I think it might be strategically smart for them to do this movie because now introduce like what six characters now that can start cross being crossed into other, other movies, movies and stuff yeah, now other movies and shows uh, but that trailer when I watched it it got me I was iffy about the movie at first because like I said I don't know any of the mm-hmm. characters really but after watching that last trailer that they released I was like fuck yes but I it was it watching was the, the whole premise of that and please watch that soon that and tell, tell me about on it uh, ta- assault on or attack on uh, assault, assault on, on Arkham, Arkham. Um, this it's great the, the premise to the Suicide Squad and I'm not going to give away plot details of the movie because I don't know um, is they a government agency gathers all Every single, well, not every single one, but a group of criminals. I mean, these are bad motherfuckers. And they're like, look. (laughs) And every, you know, they're obviously going to offer them something to do this. But like, look, we need your help. And the great thing about it is the government doesn't give a shit if they die or not. You know, they're like, hey, just another bad guy gone, but they're going to work for us. You know, so, I mean, in the in the movie, the comic book movie. Um, there's specific, you know, details behind it, and I don't really want to go into that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of the perfect thing. You kind of have to do good, uh, and you're expendable. It's kind of like the Expendables, yeah. I think yeah, exactly like that. what it is. Yeah, which was another comic book by Vertigo, if I remember correctly. Was it really? The I Expendables. Know. I didn't know that. Not was... the Expendables. Excuse me. What'd you say? I was off in my own little world. What'd you say? Is expendables. It... Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not correct. Scratch that. I was, I, I was off in my own world. Sorry. Which I was one thinking of Losers. Too? Losers was a comic book. Oh. Yeah. That sounds familiar. It was a movie. Uh, I want to read The Kingsman. That's... You know, I have that. I'll let I can't wait for Kingsman too. I have that one. Kingsman. And then, um... Jess was also uh, put in the chat about the, uh... Daredevil 2 yes. season 2 coming to Netflix and yes. season two. yeah season 2 of Daredevil for Netflix and then Jessica Jones season 2 confirmed which I haven't watched the Jessica Jones yet but you give it really time I, the, it doesn't hit as hard right away but it's good I loved Daredevil Personally, Daredevil was, was so like it got me Gritty. I know you know what I mean like like it got like to the point where I was like god damn that's a, <laughs> a comic book character Net, Netflix is stepping up their game like they're getting they got Hell no yeah. luck um, but with Daredevil 2 I know one of the big things about it was the fact that uh, the season's being released at the same day that the new uh, Batman v Superman movie is being released 
And so they're like saying that it might be a kind of like a big F you from Marvel. <laughs> kind of like yeah, it's not going to stop you. anything. Um, it could affect it in a way like um, it won't it won't affect Daredevil at all. Um, but they're saying it could possibly affect people who didn't want to go out and they'd rather just stay home and watch binge watch the entire Daredevil uh, series is there. I you don't have to it. go out, waste gas, go S- to movie Superman, theaters, Batman so. movie. Dude, fanboys have been clamoring for this for years. But they're like, also... And, uh, and a lot of haters want to go act- see. Yeah, like Ben Affleck, a lot of people are pissed about that. So uh, maybe I kind of like, like it now. It. I mean, after the footage I saw... And I, I, what? I don't... Which one? Ben Affleck is Batman. Like, That'd I don't, be great. I don't particularly like subscribe to the theory that Someone being cast that I don't feel should be cast, it's not going to kill the movie for me. So, like, I will reserve judgment until I see it. You know, that doesn't make me mad. Bad performances will make me mad after the fact. So, I think that was a honestly kind of a good cast, really. I, what for the Batman versus Superman? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I, 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 you know, I've always I don't like DC. Obviously, I don't like their movies too much. I will watch them because I support comic book movies no matter what they are. But it, originally I said, well, I think it's awesome that they got Ben Affleck to play Batman because it's going to ruin the franchise because people hate him so much. But honestly, Ben Affleck is a good actor. He's not a bad actor. He's a good writer. He's a good director. He does things well. And now see, having seen that trailer, since I don't care about that movie, I watched the trailer, I really think he will be good. I think he's going to pull it off. I not to mention the fact that I think a lot of people have issue with the fact that he played Daredevil. Uh, and you know he, but that was, that was not his fault. I mean, really, when it comes down script. to it, a director, yeah, mm-hmm. a director comes down with all the choices. Director, you know, they put together, you know, the production designers, the wardrobe, uh, the script, you know, is agreed upon, and that story and that movie just wasn't very good, and that really had nothing to do with Ben Affleck. Because yeah, uh, I, I think they got the cast right. He played a good Daredevil. In my right. opinion, the, uh, Colin Farrell played a good bullseye. If you're familiar with the character from the comic books, he played a good bullseye. I like Michael Clark. Michael Clark Duncan, Duncan played the best kingpin that has ever been portrayed. Ah, I D'Onofrio you, was so well, fucking good in Daredevil, nah, man. He it. was so fucking good. He was not. He was psychological. Do you know, the, if you know the story of Kingpin, Kingpin was a huge fat guy, but when it came down to it, he he was a he was an accomplished fighter in. Uh, judo, taekwondo, and so when he takes off his suit, he is huge. Actually, muscle. I think you're wrong on that one. Oh, I'm almost a, <laughs> look, look it up. Oh. Kingpin was supposedly solid muscle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You said he was ben, fat. He looks fat, but when he takes off his suit, no, he was he so, solid, suit, muscle. solid muscle. That's what I was saying. Okay. So, well, um, I mean, and so he was an accomplished fighter. That's what he did all the time. So I think Michael Clark Duncan was the best kingpin. But he didn't have enough screen time. Obviously, no, D'Onofrio obviously, had yeah. a whole yeah. season to develop that character. Yeah. yeah. What did you Duncan, say? That's sad. Because I miss Michael Clark Duncan. But he did. Uh, so I think yes, Vincent D'Onofrio, from a psychological perspective, portrays the character of kingpin very well. But there's also a physical element of kingpin that goes along with that character that he can't do. And that's why I don't like him. Where Michael Clark Duncan did both of those very well, and I thought in Daredevil. Well, I didn't think they did a very good job writing Kingpin in that movie. No, he wasn't in it that much. No, but the main villain was was uh, Bullseye. Bullseye. I never miss. But the thing is, uh, I love Daredevil. Like that was such a good watch, and I mean, I. Netflix makes you binge shit. You know, it makes you binge watch. If you can binge watch, I can't do it. I try and. I try. I really do attempt to binge watch. And when I binge watch, I get burned out of watching the show. And then you just don't. And then I don't finish it. I didn't finish Daredevil. I didn't finish, uh, what is it? Making a Murder. I didn't finish that one. You know, I, I sit down and I go, oh, these are great. And then I get six episodes in of ten. And I'm like, oh, I'm tired of looking at these people. And I don't ever go back to them. That's so, so weird. See, I what I do it. is I get a shitload of food, like comic book guy, you know, and he's like, <laughs> the t- 100 tacos for $100. He's like, this should be adequate enough for my Doctor Who marathon. So I just get a shitload of food and booze or drinks or whatever, and I'm, I'm fucking sitting back, relaxing, and chowing down. Well, you can, you're not really hyper either. Like, I can only sit for about two hours, and I have to get Have you moved. been diagnosed with ADD? No. He has, but Zach has like no attention span and he's able to binge watch well he has no attention span when he's bored with an issue uh, when he sees no value in that issue there's the key difference there uh, but it's still I mean I think it's funny you know they used to they used to call the movies the big screen well honestly 
it's not really competing with TV. Yeah, like you right see now. big name stars now doing miniseries and series on TV and stuff more than they're doing movies. It's because now. it's written really well, generally. Daredevil it's was written really cheaper. well. It's cheaper. It's cheaper to make something for Netflix than it is to make it for the big screen. Um, Just that simple. Well, in the overall scheme of things, yeah, yes. Cheaper. But at the same time, like, I don't care what they spend on it if it's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm well, just like surprised. Well, when it's that cheaper, you can spend more money on writers, script writers, and so forth. You can you, you can allot those monies differently, and you can get a better. Product. Okay, in order to get a project greenlit, it has to the script has to be sold. It starts there. It literally has to start there. That script better be fucking solid. Now um, you see this shit get and it's you know get made, and you're just like, man, who wrote this piece of shit? And uh, yeah, that's the problem. Screenwriters. Mm. Hmm. Gotta do better. It's not like, totally your problem. The director who makes it has a responsibility to that. You know, there have been some times when I've read scripts. I used to do that for fun. Uh, read scripts that were completely different than the actual movie. Being John Malkovich, that script was fucking hilarious and amazing. The movie wasn't that good. Nah, I think it depends on your humor. But yeah. No, 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 no. They deviated from the script. The script oh, was well, way yeah. funnier. I don't know, but I thought the movie was good. And Personally. I just I already read the script before I saw it. So, uh, anyways, uh, quick thing, Julius, you don't like DC usually, but you like the Flash and Arrow though, right? I don't watch the Arrow, but I do really enjoy the Flash television show. I really like it, and I missed Thursday. I thought it was next Thursday, but what was it? The 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 new show that just came out on CW or whatever? Uh, well, League, ABC uh, Family, which just changed, like now, the one where they Freedom come. Channel or whatever it's called, Freeform. Freeform, yeah. Like where they go uh, in the future, future. Mm-hmm. and remember. it's got Flash, it's got Captain Cold, it's got Firestar, it's got all the or Firestarter, sorry, Firestar, somebody else. The only thing um, I watch on free, <laughs> free form is Pretty Little Liars. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, <laughs> New season um, just started. Two right. episodes in. Yay. A's back, bitches. Yeah. And their <laughs> transsexual sister that's been trying to kill them. No, yeah. like I don't want to give out spoilers. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That was just an awesome plot twist. I saw that and I was like, what in the hell it just happened? Brother, sister? Yeah, okay. Anyway. But uh, it is kind of interesting to stand and watch for 30 minutes at a time. But um, you guys didn't, you talked about a lot of cool movies, but you didn't talk about these other kind of like fly by the radar ones, in my opinion. We talk about the Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Did you guys read that? <laughs> I saw the, uh, the trailer. Did you guys read the book? There's no, been three of them. There's a book? Yeah, there's like three books. There's Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Um, oh, I'm going to get shot in the head for not thinking the other two. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, Jane Sense Air. and Sensibility, and they're all, uh, they're all, what's her name? Jane Eyre? What's yeah, but Sense and Who's Sensibility, I thought that was just Jane a regular... Austin. Jane Austen, thank you. They're all Jane Austen books that they turned in with a, z- a, vamp- or a vampire or zombie element. Oh, I thought you were saying she read, uh, wrote them as zombies. I was like, no, they... I've been reading or hearing about those books completely wrong. No, man. there's Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, which got greenlit for the well, actually got made into a movie. And then there's Sense and Sensibility and, oh, I can't remember the other one. Oh, well, anyway, Gone that looks win. really good. And then I'm a huge Coen Brothers fan, so I, they don't make bad movies to me. And I can't wait to see Hell Caesar with uh, George Clooney and um, I don't know. the entire cast. It looked uh, boring to me. I love their movies. And their movies are for a different kind of taste, so they're, they're a little bit different. But I'm excited about those. But. Speaking of uh, tension span... <laughs> right, because he's not interested Zach's, in the situation. Zach's on anymore. his phone, <laughs> looking through Facebook. Right, because he's not interested in the situation. So, told you. I mean, not that movie. And then your Psychopath has a movie coming out. It's yeah. going to be in theater. Psychopath the movie, and that's in what March? I don't know the date of it, and I but I saw. And then also, the Boy and the Beast is coming out. Um, I guess that actually makes me want to talk about some Funimation stuff or anime stuff. First, like uh, Funimation has been doing some. <laughs> he pulled his phone out again. Uh, Funimation has been doing some interesting stuff with, uh, I guess, their strategic plans and stuff now. They're showing a lot more movies in theaters, which I love because now we can actually go experience it in theaters and support it that way. Um, they, they're they rebranding their streaming service, which they didn't launch that properly because it's confused a lot of people. Some mm-hmm. people were just like... Like, wait, they had a streaming service? Or, wait, now they're just didn't streaming? It's like, no, they're just rebranding it, uh, making changing the app, how it works on the different devices, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, and then uh, there's kind of been mixed on their new logo. Uh, that's been mixed. And then now they um, the last thing they did was 
what was it? They, oh, they partnered with a company to start producing more mobile games, like free to play games and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So they're getting into that market. So you can look forward to like other uh, mobile games. But um, some of the new movies, like The Boy and the Beast. That's March 4th. That one? Mm-hmm. Are you going to go see it? It's anime in the theaters. Do I miss anime in the theaters? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. Uh-uh. But plus, like, you liked... Oh, you didn't finish Summer Wars, did you? Yeah, I finished it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, like, the dude who did Summer Wars, Wolf Children, um, Looks did good. The Boy and the Beast. So, uh... I was kind of surprised. Summer Wars... Yeah. yeah. I could I, The ending was a little bit not kind of what... Yeah. But it was good. It was really good. I missed my chance to watch that in the theater. Like, yeah. uh... Um, Oklahoma Museum of Art. Mm-hmm. They, they they get a lot that. of anime actually. Yeah, I was surprised they did recently did the Studio Ghibli marathons mm-hmm. and, and stuff, but oh, and then my friend Devin, well, he's on the in the chat room a lot of times too. Him and I are going to be starting a anime focused podcast here soon, so uh, we're still coming up with the name. I was thinking maybe fan service, but Julia said that's uh false advertising it's misleading if you were yeah. telling me fan service I'm like ooh I'm gonna see tits and ass it's or a podcast panty <laughs> shots <laughs> it's a, or maybe it's that's a, what we're gonna talk about okay but. I'm like it's an audio only podcast so well you know, um, hey it's your podcast name it what you want yeah just, I'm gonna look I and would, see if they they have that already but um, so we're gonna be doing that he lives in Missouri so we're gonna be doing it online once we get it established we'll start having actual guests on so hopefully I can get some voice actors and actresses on there then maybe some fans like other friends who are anime experts and stuff they might join in um, on it so uh, hopefully we can get that started in like the next week or so but so but those are the movies that I was looking forward to so I don't know about you guys but Oscars are coming up so I always like to see all the Oscar Oscar movies. I don't beforehand. watch Oscars. The Oscars. Yeah, and I will not be boycotting the Oscars. Thanks. Um, I wasn't even gonna go there. But I still need to watch that video that Jada put out. Why? I don't know. To see what it said. Like I've been hearing a lot of Whatever. stuff about it. His role was not good enough to get nominated for an Oscar. That's why he wasn't nominated. I don't for even an Oscar. know what the he video nom- said. That's why I said I need to watch it. He wasn't nominated because his role, the Oscar, deemed his role not not good enough to be nominated. And if you think, if you look at the spectrum of actors that are out there right now, that are African American, if you want to call them that, fuck that. I ain't never been African I'm black, but um, he, there aren't any cali- Oscar contending roles, in my personal opinion. Well, who are you gonna, Michael B. Jordan for Creed? Yeah, no, great movie, not worthy, not worthy of an Oscar for Michael B. Jordan's role. Yeah, but Sylvester Stallone. Yes, Sylvester Stallone. was damn good in that, and that surprised yeah. the shit out was of me. Was Michael not good in it? I he was good. He was good, really but he... good, but he wasn't Oscar worthy. The Oscar I agree is with the that. Highest, the Oscar is the highest award you can give an actor in the, well, technically in the world, but in the United States for sure. So if you're going to get nominated for an Oscar, your role better be damn good. And the Oscars are not, they, I'm not going to say they haven't always been racist, but they are not, they don't appear to be racist anymore they gave three six fucking mafia an oscar for best song three six mafia that's pretty much as black three as you can six get mafia. and i will admit hustle and flow that song was awesome that song was awesome it's hard out here for a pimp was an amazing song the oscar said it is an amazing song we're gonna give you an oscar If you, if yeah, that's my rant. That's my soapbox. If if you are deeming deserving of an Oscar, they will nominate you. They gave Halle Berry an Oscar for "Make Me Feel Good," you know. Yeah. You know they give black actors Oscars when their roles are substantial for Oscars. We didn't have a lot of actors this year that made super awesome movies that were Oscar contenders. Concussion, not a very good film. Have you I'm seen sorry, it? not a very good film. Was it not? Like I personally, I don't. I didn't really care for it personally. But you saw it though. You're not just yes. Okay. So I personally didn't really care for it. My mom loves Will Smith. She went and saw it. She said, "Yeah, it's okay. He didn't do that great for me." If my mom doesn't think you deserved an Oscar, then you, know, you pretty much don't get it, right? That's the way it goes. But I'm sorry. So I don't. She's on the panel. So that's yeah. She should be. She sees <laughs> enough movies to be. She probably sees more movies than the Oscar committee itself. But um, and a I lot just, of them don't. That's the thing. Yeah, they watch elements of it. But you I know, just really so don't I give think a about the Oscars. The Oscars or are any really a word. Do you really watch I, movies? I though? stopped watching the Oscars years ago. But yeah, so like, it's not for any other reason yeah. than like I mean, I just don't. I'm see not the nominated. 
<laughs> Why not? I mean, I just don't see the movies anymore. I didn't even like going to like our school's award sh- programs and stuff where they give us awards. Like in ribbons and things like this person has like the highest score in this grade. I'm just like, I don't care. Well, I've got know, a lot of those, but anyway. I don't care. Like, well, yeah. Ah. Sorry, that was my soapbox. <laughs> no, go ahead. Like, yeah. y- y'all are more experts on that. Like, I'm more the anime person, but I still don't even watch the anime awards that go out. So. What do you thoughts to end on how we normally end? Like, uh, what are you watching and playing? Oh, yeah, like, that was, so, uh, real quick, that was the question someone had for us, or asked, game of the year for 2015, what do you consider? 2015 game of the year? Your Shit. Pick. Yeah, I don't know, you guys think about this, let me look up, I can't remember what came out in 2015. So that's an easy one for me. Um, uh, Mario Maker? I... I Mm, no, because I really didn't get a chance to play Mario Maker that much. Um, well, I thought it was an easy one. Um, I would probably say, for me, it would pro- it would either be... Um, I just went blank on my, my game. Super Smash Brothers? Because Mario Kart came out 2014, correct? No. It came out last year. Did Mario Kart come out 2016? Oh, Mario Kart or Mario Maker? Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart. Oh, that might have had DLC. The end of so it's had DLC. So my opinion, I would probably say, um, for me, I would probably say um, Super Smash Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Candy Crush. Shout out. Soda. Okay. <laughs> it's actually yeah. really fun though. Um, I'm trying hard. to think what would I, I actually. Stuck. I'm like on uh, chapter or. Uh, level 630 and i haven't even paid for a single item i think i'm on chapter or level 32 (laughs) again got bored got stuck couldn't play it anymore Uh, um, i like the tough stuff um i mean i think some of the i don't even know for sure i know some of the things that i would uh uh, some of the things that I would pick would be probably stuff that's been just remakes, like Uncharted was really fun. Yeah, but and that's, first that's time not to, deeming uh, of Game of the Year. I already I got it. But Until Dawn? So far, Until Dawn, I really, really... It's a good game. That's game. a really good game. I'm going to say, I think the issue is I didn't finish the big tier titles, and I'll kind of explain why real quick. I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. I mean, I'm you, gonna get game of the year. My issue is not the biggest fan of open world games um, because I do like Julius, kind of have a short attention span there. And unless you're kind of guiding me along a linear path on some level, it can be open, but it can't be completely open. You know what I mean? That's what killed it for me. Like I don't want to have a game where it's like this is all the stuff you can do. Tackle it however you want. I don't know why. Grand Theft Auto, I get bored. Uh, Metal I Gear, get lost. Metal Gear, I got so sick of doing the same shit over and over again, just trying to build my base up, that I stopped it. That's the only Metal Gear game I haven't just dominated. Uh, Fallout 4, I got my power armor for the first time, dropped it off of my house, and I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, no, I'm overwhelmed. I'm done. I still haven't played it. <laughs> uh, Battlefield, or uh, Battlefront... I played twice since that I bought it. is fun if you have people to play with. Um, but Halo beat it's not that game of the year. Beat that with my boy, but it was the story was lacking. Um, Tomb Raider was good. It was solid. Nothing extraordinary. They didn't really push the mold on that one. I don't think. Batman, Arkham Knight had too many issues, uh, but it was an okay game. So I shit. I don't know. Mm. Uh, did Telltale release something this year? Game of Thrones, maybe? I mean, Did you play Game of Thrones? Yeah, but I didn't beat it. Which is weird for me, because I usually kill those Telltale think, games. Like, this isn't necessarily, I guess, a game of the year, but it was a game that sleeper hit to me in a way that I really enjoyed playing. That uh, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. <laughs> like, the... Uh, Fighting Climax. Yeah, it's uh, available. Ooh, somebody's edging PS3. somebody. Uh, the Vita, and it was basically uh, the fighter game with a bunch of anime characters in it from different shows. Like uh, I can see why you'd love Super that. Super Smash Bros. Uh, yeah, came out in 2014. Like, 
Sorry. Like from what uh, about uh, what about fighting games? Other than that one, was there like a Mortal big, Kombat? How do you think Mortal Kombat was? I liked it. I still play it. I mean, was it game of the year worthy for you? No, it was really fun. And so they just need to release better DLC characters instead of just keep like they need to release the ones that people like, hmm. like Rain and stuff like that. But, so I apologize. Like B Rain. B Rain's a playable character. Funny. But this, the fighting climax has characters from like um, uh, Durarara, Durarara, <laughs> other anime. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Yeah, I was about to say another one. Y'all keep interrupting me. Before I didn't I say anything. <laughs> like you went into Mortal Kombat while I was still li- about to list an, a list of characters. Well, I mean, like I was going to say out of a game that you knew, like That's, game, games I that I forgot know. that the Sword Art Online character. Yeah, these are it's these a fun game. Popular. They're releasing it on the PS4. Too. What about like the, a new update model or uh, version? Do we know anybody that played the Sword Art Online? Uh, uh, Sword Art Online game? Brandon might have. I'm not sure. Yeah, I like that fighting climax. I had it too. I enjoyed I, I it. I wanted to play Life is Strange. It's fun, but it's chapter based. So you know, you yeah. get the first chapter. They they hook you. They give you the first chapter for like two bucks, and then you got to get the next chapter. It was actually fun though. He hasn't played Journey. <sighs> wait, wait. Journey like the 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 flower creator person yeah. on PlayStation Three yeah oh wow that's a great game yeah, I know it's a really good game that brings I so much it. emotions and stuff I did Without play her story to, to talk in that game I, I, still I, I, I did play and beat her story Who? which was amazing that's the name of the game oh it's literally a police database and you have to watch these clips of this girl giving a uh, testimony <laughs> about a murder oh it was pretty cool. So I have to take my bet because Super Smash Bros. came out in 2014, so that's not a 2015 game. So of the 2015 games, I would probably have to say um, either... Splatoon. Yeah, I was going to say either Splatoon or... um, For me, Splatoon or... I just had it. Splatoon or Until Dawn. Mario Maker was an amazing game. I'm not a creator of games. I don't like to do that. I don't like to do that piece. Um, But Splatoon or... Uh, until dawn and i really enjoyed the witcher 3 i really enjoyed it and i'd never played any other game before Did you beat it no please. i was gonna say because it's like an 80 hour please. game right but it has great dlc please beat it the only game i've beaten this year i'm surprised you beat one this year jules doesn't beat games well i do He'll get beat, right to the end and just I beat handhelds stop. and then i stop yes that's true i do get to the end and stop i'll get to the last stage and be like oh okay i don't like closure sometimes when my video games <sighs> i can't do it but uh, i did beat um t- uh, which is what 2014 13 uh south park oh <laughs> stick of truth stick of truth I can't uh, wait for the fractured like three butthole. Three uh, amazing. I cannot uh, wait for the amazing. fractured butthole. The the game, I have it on PlayStation. You'll get the fractured three. butthole later. I have it on the collector's oh, edition that, that came with the, the kid uh, robot, Cartman, yeah. Grand Wizard. And I have it on just regular Xbox. Uh, amazing. The game, by far, it will be the only game I have a thousand gamer score in. Um, because I'm, I've already started going back again to 100% it. It's an amazing game. I loved it. I can't wait till the fractured butt. If they if they continue with the same formula, it will be a, it, the fractured butthole will be a, amazing. Sure, it will be. So. <laughs> it was really the story. It wasn't the it wasn't the RPG. That was not a deep RPG by him. Not at all. Stretch of the ma- uh, like, imagination. That shit was easy. Like, sure, like you, you can play most of it like this, literally. And what's crazy? And just watch. I got the, three fourths of the way through the game, and I'd already maxed my character out. So every boss was just like attack, attack, dead, attack, attack, dead, attack, attack, dead. But there were some pieces that I didn't understand. So I'm pretty sure the fractured butthole will go very deeper into the story, <laughs> like hard and deeper, deeper. See, I know what you're doing. You're, <laughs> I know. He's trying to make a sexual innuendo, innuendo but uh, we all got it. But yeah, I liked. I I and I went on this kick, like you were saying on your Fighters Climax last year. I went on this kick on just buying 2D anime anime inspired fighters for the Vita, and there are a lot of them out there. There are a lot of really good 2D fighters are and 2D side scrollers. Mm-hmm. So they're really um, good. Well, um, I guess we're probably going to wrap it up anyway, too. But just wanted to also give a shout out to our friends at the uh, Core Effects because if you're going to be doing the VR. I uh, do recommend you check out their uh, gaming vest. It gives you haptic feedback um, based off of any audio input. So, um, music, movies, and video games. Pornography? 
And right now, I think they're still doing the sale on their on their vests. And uh, so I had to actually, throw that in there to I try actually to recommend to it. So slip them up. Uh, those of you listening, go ahead and head over to uh, corefx.com, which is K-O-R-F-X.com, and uh, check out the the jacket, the vest. How about our friends at uh, Gamers Pantheon? Yeah, give a shout out to our friends at Gamer Pan- Gamers Pantheon. Gamers mm-hmm. Pantheon. Follow and them on Twitter and face, face, Facebook. 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 Uh, they do a lot of gaming uh, reviews, interviews, and they just released their podcast. And yeah, and subscribe to them as well. I watch too many movies. I another. Know. I watch too many movies. Another one of our friends does a ton of movie reviews, and has a website. We share some of their articles too on our Facebook page. Um, any Check other? Any of our other friends doing any? Anything yet? Uh, we have, um, oh, I just went blank. Uh, Good Trash Media. Um, they also do movie reviews right now. Eventually they'll go off into video games and other things, but right now they're just doing uh, movie reviews. So, Good Trash Media, pretty fun one too. I'll share a link on the Facebook. Okay. Well, this has been another episode of Nergasm Channel Podcast. Follow us on Twitter and our Facebook. Uh, it's at Nergasm Channel. And once again, our Facebook page will be in the link below. Uh, thank you for watching. Tune in to our other, other stuff. Give us feedback. Let us you know what you do like, what you don't like. Give us uh, suggestions for things you'd like to see from us. Um, topics you want us to cover on other podcasts or games you like us to play in like our Game On series. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We actually do uh, read all your comments, all your posts, all that. We actually are And we'll part respond of the to you. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter for the most part. Did uh, Fallout come out in 2015? Yeah, it just came out too terribly long ago. Oh, well, there's your game of the year right there, Fallout 4. Uh, oh, well, sorry. Um, but, <laughs> But uh, yeah, definitely uh, like and subscribe. Uh, we are we are community, and that's just the way that we want it to be. Like your voice can be heard. You have an opinion. Let us know what's up. <laughs> All right. Uh, any last words, guys? Nope. Go buy amiibos. All right. Well, I'm Willie, aka Unofficial Ninja. Zach Romeo three thirteen. Jules. Fade Alexander. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Bye bye.